Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and today I'm going to show you how to use Google to search for search results within a specific website. So instead of getting a whole broad range of search results from all over the web, you can narrow down your search to only display results from a particular domain. Uh, it's definitely something that I use a lot and it should help you when you're searching on the web, so enjoy it. Okay, so here I am on Google.com, and let's just say I search social media. If I search social media, my results, and I'm going to turn my personal results off, are from all over the web. It could be any website in the world. Okay. Um, now let's say instead of seeing results from every website in the world, I want to see results just from AntonAlex.com. What I'm going to do is in front of social media, and I'll just delete social media to start, I'm going to type the word site, and I'm going to use the colon and then I'm going to type in the name of the site. So in this example, it's AntonAlex.com. And then I'm going to put a space and type my search query. I want to search for social media. When I do that, you'll see that I get a whole bunch of results relating to social media. And if you look at the domain, they're all from AntonAlex.com. So it's definitely a great way to narrow down your search results from a certain domain. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of is if you look at AntonAlex.com, there's no www in front of my domain. Um, so if I were to search with the www here, it wouldn't work. Um, I, all I get is my sitemap. So you definitely want to check that out before you do your search. Now, for instance, CNN allows you to do both. So I can do you know, CNN.com social media, and I get a whole bunch of social media results from CNN.com and subdomains of CNN.com. Or if I put the www in and search, I get the same results. So for some domains it works both ways, but you definitely want to be aware of that. Take a look at the domain and see if they include the www or not. And then one other thing that I'd like to show you real quick, um, because you might be asking a different question when you search for this video. You might be wondering how to search within a specific page, so I'm going to just throw that in here at the end. Um, so let's see, let me find, okay. Here is a, an article, an infographic on social change. It's a pretty cool article. You should check it out. It's about how um, social media has increased charitable contributions and, and social change around the world. So that's pretty cool. But let's say I want to search for a certain term within this article. I'm not going to go to Google.com. Instead, what I'm going to do is on a Mac computer, I'm going to hit the Apple key or that little infinity symbol key and F. And on a, on a Windows computer, I'm going to hit the Control key and F. It's the find function. So if I hit Command F, you'll see this little box pops up here at the top right. And I can go ahead and type in my query, social media. And it tells me how many times it's displayed on the page. And I can click through to see each time it's displayed. So you see it's highlighting over here on the right, social media, social media. I have a bunch of links on my page. But you can see it's also in the actual article. So social media is scattered all over this article. Um, but that's how you can search within a specific article for a particular term that you're looking for. So both of these methods uh, are very helpful when you're trying to find specific information from a specific domain. So I hope it helps. That's all I have for you today. Again, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.